Here we go, here we go. Welcome to Strictly Boxing with Derek Poppy Rolo. Oh, we had some good fights last night, man. These are the type of fights that we really Really want to want to want to bark on, man. This is what we need, man. This is what we need. We need fights like this. Shout out to Clarissa Shell. She put out a uh, put on a good show last night, man. People came out and support her, and that was nice, man. Um, listen, man. Welcome to Strictly Boxing, man. Before I get started, man, you know if you haven't subscribed to the channel, man, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Uh, if you like the video, doing the video, make the thumbs up. I appreciate that. And don't be afraid, man. You know, come on in the conversation and uh, I welcome any discussions and things you want to say, positive or negative. You can be against me or with me. It don't matter, man. Listen, man. Before another thing I want to do before I get started, man, I do want to say that this is a very important year for voting. And I know sometimes, man, we can be... Uh, Think that, oh, this is a man's world. But let me tell you something, man. There have been a lot of countries that has, have had women leadership, man. Israel has had a, a female leader. Uh, Pakistan has had a female leader. Germany has had a female leader. India has had a female leader. Philippines has had a female leader. And even Liberia has, has had a female leader. So don't think that women can't lead, man. I'm telling you now, I'm voting for Kamala Harris, okay? Hear a lot of negative people talking stuff, and it's a shame to me to see black people, male and female, speaking against my sister. I'm rebooking that. Now we're going to talk going on to the show. All right, listen, man, great fights last night. I just had to get that off my chest, man. Had to get that off my chest, man. One of the fights that I saw last night, well, it wasn't last night. It was yesterday. It wasn't on the show with Clarissa Shields, but it was a great fight, you know, out in London. And if you guys get a chance to go and check it out, man, go on YouTube or try to uh, go and see the fight, man. It was a good a heavyweight fight out in London yesterday. Uh, upset. Another upset. You know, Joe Joyce, a uh, uh, silver medal in the Olympics. Joe Joyce was expected to be a heavyweight champion. He was expected to get a title shot, man. He He's right at the top in the heavyweights. He's waiting for big fights. You know, he got he had a one loss against um, um, Zhang. Zhang stopped him. Um, his last fight, I believe it was, but he came on. He took on a an opponent that was supposed to be a bump. He was supposed to be a tomato can. He was well past his age um, of, of his best. Derek Chisera. Derek Chisera, oh, the fighter, man. Uh, well past his, his best days, man. But you know what? He had determination. He had heart. He had grit. He was tired but he continued on fighting man he kept on fighting he dropped them he got the upset victory the upset victory Derek Chisera upsets Joy Jost out in London yesterday it was a really good heavyweight fight I really enjoyed it those are the type of fights we want to see those are the type of fights that we look forward to seeing so what what happens next uh for Joy Joyce man is it over that's the question some of the people ask. I mean, you know, he said he still have it. He still want to stay. But a lot of people agree that it's over. One of those Olympians, medalists that never make it to receive uh, a world title. You know, they're few, but they're starting to grow. So, I don't know. Whatever Joy Joyce decides to do, uh, I mean, we'll try to see if he get it back on. But those two knockouts back. Well, he didn't get the knockout last night. I forgot that. But he lost a decision. It was a good fight. And um, I, I'll, I'll pay to see it again if you want the rematch. But I don't know if this is going to open up doors for Chisera or is it going to close doors for Chisera. Because a lot of people look for stepping stones. They look for people that used to be good. Like Chisera used to be good. You know, he lost to top guys, but he had, you know, he passed his days and he was just another name to go under Joy Joyce uh, uh, belt. However, he had another plan for it. He had another plan for it and uh, he might wind up, nobody, he might have hurt himself by being, he might can't get no more fights, you know how that go. But congratulations, man, Derek Chisora, upset of uh, the year. 
upset of the year. We had so many upsets this year, man. So many upsets, man. It, it, but I tell you, that was a good fight. Get a chance to go see that. But now, but now, but now, now, the other fight, the big card that we was looking at, uh, um, my girl uh, Clarissa. Clarissa put on a good show. The show was everything that she said it was going to be. They came out with the music. Detroit showed out. Detroit came out. Detroit came out and, and supported the music, the rappers. It was an awesome show. And Clarissa, she 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 the go. She the quote. Look, Clarissa Shields is the quote, bro. The sister just hit too hard, man. She she got this grit and this determination. And she's, uh, I think she's in a class by herself, man. I mean, you know, I mean, I don't see anybody fighting her. She already up in heavyweights now. She's talking about maybe staying at heavyweights or going down here, going down there. I don't know how she's going up and down all over the place. But the sister is in a class by herself. She is the, quote, greatest woman of all time. Have to give her that. What's next for her? What's she going to do? Who is there for her to fight? There's nobody, in my opinion. I mean, she got the movie coming out. Maybe that's that's it. I don't see what she's going to do. I mean, she's only 29, I think she said. But who's she going to fight? Like, who going to fight her? I don't know. But the card was an awesome card. And another upset on the card. First of all, Michelle Rivera, him and Rodan had an awesome fight, man. It was a split decision. Michelle Rivera pulled it out. It was a good decision. Good fight, though. That's the kind of fights we want to see. And it's funny, man, watching these fights, man, because I got a call from my man Mujahid. And Mujahid hit me up and said, yo, pop, man, like, like, listen, is that too much to ask for for Shakur? I said, what do you mean? He, That's all I want, though. Can we get fights like that from Shakur? And you know, you know, he knows I'm a Shakur fan, so he 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 asked me. I gotta I gotta actually agree with him. That's all we ask for. It's not that much to be asking for. We need more of that. Uh, and that's what we're looking for from our top fighters. So, so Mujahid, you made a good point. And um, I, I just had to accept it and roll with it. He know he was picking on me because he know I'm a Shakur fan. So that's what he did. But I'm going to tell you something else. There was another upset on the car. Uh, uh, super lightweight fight. Now, super lightweight is serious, man. 140 weight class is banging. Look, Ergoschleff versus Smith. Smith was supposed to be another... Stepping stone. Stiff was supposed just to pick phone fighter. You know, he was like eight and two. Ergus Law for 23 and one. He only lost when he for his first title shot. He fought he fought for the title and he lost. That's the only loss he had. Ergus Chef looking around waiting for another title. Took on Smith. Split decision. Smith wins. Now, now, now I think uh uh Smith, he had a game plan that was nice. And and we train the fighters like that, you know, when they get close to the end of the round, steal those rounds, man. You know, that, that was that was Sugar Ray Linnick method, man. Like you get close to them last 15 seconds, go all out, get everything you can to try to get those rounds. And he had a system of that. And he was getting that off every round. He's still in the round. But in the first round, right? Right before the bell was about to ring, he caught him with a solid straight right. Bang! And dropped him. And the referee said no knockdown. The referee said no knockdown. It was clear. Bang. He was, he was, it, and he was hurt in the corner. He was hurt in the corner. And the corner knew. Everybody knew it was a knockout. But the referee said it wasn't a knockdown. So, Urkashev came back out. It became a competitive fight. And uh, Smith caught him again. Smith caught him again. Bang. Another upset, Smith wins the title on a, I mean, not the title, I'm sorry. Smith wins the decision uh, on a split decision. And uh, good fights, man. It, you know, I, I, I really enjoyed it. And I want to see more of that. And I hope next week, next, I'm looking forward to next next week card with with, 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 uh, Ten, with, with Terrence Crawford and Marjorie Marjor Moss. That's going to be another fight. And the card is supposed to be just as outstanding. Boxing is booming, y'all. Listen, this is Dirk Pop, Roll on that Strictly Boxing. I appreciate it, man, if you comment on what we're talking about. And if you hit that thumbs button for me, I like it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the button. Subscribe to the channel. This is Dirk Pop, Roll on that Strictly Boxing. Peace.